Afternoon, guys. Um, standing here at my employer's shop. Started tearing down the white truck because I'm fairly positive I washed two cylinders. For those of you that don't know what that means, um, in the process of tuning, there were a couple spots where I was really, really rich on fuel. And that fuel dissolves oil. Well, what it means to wash a cylinder is that that fuel washes the oil from the cylinder walls and the rings unseat or wear down uh, due to lack of lubrication. So now I could tear it all back apart, figure out what went wrong, fix the problem, and then put it back together. So here we are so far. Um, catch can hoses wiring up here in the corner all the intercooler piping is already off I need to pull my intake pipe the accessory bracket here because this holds the alternator and the coils <coughs> and in order to get to my crank sensor that all has to come off anyway um, need to pull throttle body and the valve cover and then I can pull the head and take a look at what happened. While this is all apart I intend on fixing the stuff like the hose, the wire wrapping and just you know other nonsense that I didn't get to when I put it together the first time. I like that <laughs> or the OBD2 connector so I'll come back to that. All right, some progress. Intake tube, alternator, fuel lines. I don't know if you can see those down in there. All the wiring, that's all loose, including the uh, crank sensor. So now, just need to drain the coolant. Pull the throttle body, pull the hoses, pull the water neck down below, right there, undo the bracket, timing belt, valve cover, if I hadn't said that already, and the head bolts, oh, and the dipstick, might be kind of important. So, about halfway there. And I might pull the hood. It's a lot easier with the hood out of the way. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Turbo drain line and turbo water lines. <coughs> so, I think that'll be it this time around. I need to go get some food. My lunch is almost up. So, I will talk to you guys next time.